Imagine you're on a train that's speeding down a track toward five people. You have the power to flick a switch and divert the train onto another track. But there's a catch. The second track has one person in the way instead of five. Would you flip the switch? If you answered yes, then you're with the majority, both average thinkers and psychopaths alike. Now consider a similar scenario, but with a key difference. Instead of riding the train, you're standing on a bridge above the tracks. And next to you is a noticeably large human being. Now if you want to save the five people on the tracks, you must push this person over the bridge. They will surely die in the process, but their large body will stop the train. Would you push the person over and condemn them to certain death? If yes, then you might be a psychopath. Psychologist and expert on psychopathy Kevin Dutton explains why. Scenario 1 represents an impersonal dilemma, whereas scenario 2 is personal. As the average brain thinks through the impersonal dilemma, the same parts of the brain light up as a psychopath's. When the average brain contemplates the second scenario, however, the emotional part of the brain lights up, because now it's personal. But that's not the case if you're a psychopath. The emotion neighborhood of their brain has a neural curfew, and that's why they're perfectly happy to chuck that guy over the side without batting an eye. 